So we can configure list boxes to accept single or multiple selections. We can use the multi-column list box to display more information about each item such as its size and date and other information that are required. So when we type characters in a list box at runtime, LabVIEW selects the first item in the list box that begins with the characters that we type. So if I type T, first character is starting with T is selected. If I type T again, then the second character starting with T is selected. If I type F, if I type, uh, for example, TW, then that character is selected. If I type FIR, then the character starting line starting with that character is selected. We can use the left and right arrow keys to go to the previous or next items that match the character that we type. We can also, as you can see, the whole line is selected, whole line is being highlighted. So we can turn it on or off by going to selection mode and then turning it this highlight entire row on or off by default it's on if we turn it off then only that character uh, only that word is selected we can add a symbol next to the list item such as in the llb library manager window where directories and files have different symbols. To do that, we will first have to enable the symbols and then we can insert a symbol by going to the symbol and then selecting particular symbol. For example, we can show a folder and we can show a file and there are other many symbols available uh, in that menu. We can also insert uh, separators, separator lines between the line list items. For example, let's insert a separator here by going to item symbol and then selecting this last item, which is the separator. We can also use uh, property nodes
to modify for example list items so here we have list items and to gather information about list item such as to detect the currently selected items by using the active row or to set the handling of upper and lower case characters when we type characters in a list box at runtime which you can do from uh, keyboard mode as you can see in the context help at the keyboard mode uh, sets how to handle upper and lower case characters when we type characters in a list box at runtime valid val values include 0 which is system default 1 which means case sensitive and 2 which means case insensitive and you can wire the value this its input